this weekend has been especially long for me. I went away for a conference over in California for podcast movement, and it went well. I had an amazing time speaking and connecting with so many of my friends and some new people that I've met. But on the way back, I hit a snag with my travel plans. The plane that was supposed to take us on the first leg of our trip was delayed to some air traffic issue. That meant a good chunk of the passengers, myself included, wouldn't be home Friday as planned. Instead, we'd have to stay the night over in the LA area, which as you may suspect, is pricey. So today's episode isn't what I originally planned, but I think it's timely. I'm sharing travel sites and apps to help you get a deal on your next getaway. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you the app the Southwest crew member gave when I asked her for a recommendation for a cheap, last-minute deal on hotels. Welcome to the Couple Money Podcast, the show where we share stories and advice on building up your marriage and wealth together. I'm Elle Martinez. Support for this podcast comes from Jumpstart Your Marriage and Your Money Masterclass. This self-paced course is designed to help you get on the same page with money, dump your debt faster, and build wealth as a team. Sign up today for the course and get lifetime access. Just head over to couplemoney.com slash jumpstart. Going away for the weekend doesn't mean you have to break your budget. With a little bit of planning and the right resources, you too can score some nice trips and still save money. There are a ton of sites out there for travelers. Besides snagging last minute deals on popular tourist spots, you can also discover some awesome new destinations. Airbnb is a favorite. If you like to live like a local, they can help you find a bed or a whole house for your next trip. We've used them when we went away for an anniversary trip and had a beautiful riverfront apartment in Wilmington for the fraction of a price of a hotel that was right down the street. Priceline is another great site. I'm a huge fan of their name your own price feature, which has helped us score plane tickets, hotel rooms, and car rentals, half the advertised prices. So how do you find a good deal on those bids? Better bidding. It's a forum and site online that can help you figure out what it will take or about how much it will be for your bid to be accepted. You might also want to keep an eye out on flash deals with airlines like Southwest, where you can score a huge discount on flights for select cities. Now with so much going on, it's very easy to get lost with your itinerary. The good news is with smartphones everywhere, apps have been developed to help you when you travel. Here are a few ones that you might want to check out. Trip it. We have two kids, so I love having one app to handle and organize all the travel arrangements. If you want to double check the deals on flights, Hopper is great. The site analyzes tons of flight prices and can suggest when it's time to purchase a ticket. And Hipmunk, an all-in-one solution where you can find last minute deals and go ahead and book them. And you might not think of this as a travel app per se, but Gas Buddy can be really helpful if you're doing a road trip. Gas can add up and sometimes when you're taking trips, They're during popular times, which means the prices are higher than normal. Give yourselves an advantage and make sure you're getting the best deal as you're going through your road trip. So, I was stuck at the airport. While they did give us a credit, we still had to make our hotel arrangements. And I didn't know where I wanted to go. I wanted to be near the airport. Also, I knew it was last minute, so I was afraid that I was going to break my budget. So what was that app that I asked the Southwest crew member? What did she recommend? It was last minute. Seriously, that's the name on the app. You can go on the website or you can go on your phone. There are quite a few deals and I did score one that was close to the airport, quiet and wonderful. Now that I shared a few of my favorite travel apps and sites, I'd love to hear yours. 
please share them in the show notes at couplemoney.com. Thanks again for listening. Couple Money Podcast is made possible because of awesome listeners like you. Your tweets, reviews, likes, and emails mean so much to me. Yes, emails. I love reading them. I want to say thank you to Cynthia and Fleur for taking some time this week to say hi, giving me some updates and asking questions. And a double shout out to Adam for not only being a loyal member of the community, but also rocking your money. I'm so happy for you and your family. And Adam, you now hold the record for listening to the podcast the fastest. So congrats. And if there's a topic or question you want to hear on the show, just let me know. Email me at l at couplemoney.com. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.